Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 14 of Direwolf20's server play series. I had some butterflies. Where'd they go? They were just flying around here a minute ago. Soren! Soren's on. Oh, there it is. I found the butterfly. Come here, you. Right-click butterfly to turn him into an item. I got cabbage white and brimstone butterflies. These guys are cool. What's up, butterfly? Can we do anything yet with the butterflies, Mist? They breed uh, leaf blocks for you. Oh, and I got more unusual princesses. Are unusuals, like, I guess they're not that uncommon. Uh, they're they're common if the if the ground is flat. They're common if your spawning code makes it so there's like a thousand next to each other. Because that's what happens. But you okay? <laughs> no, no, no. You go run around Ooh, cool in like an extreme Easy hills. Channel, yeah, I, I like found two so far in my extreme hills area. It's just because this biome is flat. Ooh, I got a citrus swallowtail. I'm currently exploring my biome here, seeing if... Uh... Oh, that's a blue butterfly. Look at that. That's cool. On Forgecraft 1, right? Because Forgecraft is yeah. a different region. Yeah, I, I will make them specifically a lot rarer in flat biomes, just because all these people are complaining at me. I'm not well, it's not so much that I'm complaining. Me. It's that, like... All right, so here's what happened, YouTube audience. I, we, we turned on, like, the retro gen for, for, um, for Mysterious's um, bees, for, uh, you know, the magic bees, because now he has, like, User world gen bees. Channel. And, like, they're silly how common they are. Like, I walked out my front door and found ten beehives within sight of each other. Like, there's another, it's like, there's another one. It's because you're, this biome is too flat. Okay, but lots of biomes are flat. I'm not seeing any, not even many. though no. I've got a couple of pretty flat biomes near me as well, so... If Just go look really around. They're all over Dyer the place. Dyer ended up getting extra beehives and none of the rest of us did. Yeah, I'm... I'm I've got pretty flat biomes around. I mean, they're, they're they may not be flat at sea level, but they are pretty flat, and gotcha. I'm not seeing any beehives. Dude, I've got so many oh, bee, uh, so many uh, butterflies now. I feel come like just running around collecting steal butterflies. Steal some of Dyer's hives, because apparently he has too many. Agreed. Let's I go steal his hive. Feel free, dude. I just <laughs> I'm just running around a, a biome right now, and like right now, I'm looking at two right next to each other. Like I can see them sitting next to each other. Within that's 10 okay. Hours. I would have a good home. I'm uh I'm in a flat biome again. I'm in a field biome. Where 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 from your house though? I don't know. Some direction. There's a beehive that used to probably be in a tree and isn't anymore. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just collecting bees just because I was out here. I'm not ready to start bees just yet. But I wanted to collect them because I was running around. Hey, Marathi. Fun. Hey, Marathi. Hey, Marathi. Hey, you. Hello. So, uh, everybody on We're TeamSpeak is uh, Morvalara and Jaded Cat, Marathi, Soren, Mysterious Ages. Uh, what else am I missing? A Dubs and Amnet are here, but oh, yeah, they're talking. They're just not talking vocally. Yeah, they're just not talking Because they're to robots. Us. Well, they there's like little us. pings in the background that the YouTube audience can hear, and that's pretty much what we've got. <laughs> the bounds of plenty, guys. That's all we ever get from them. Yeah, little ping sounds. If they're all like, we don't like your people, we're not actually going to talk. Harsh. Vocal communication, yeah. You know. Alright, so, Mist, I got a bunch of your uh, bees. I've got, um, I got the attuned ones, which are apparently super rare and useful. And then I got the sorceress, and I got unusuals, and um, that's Where do it I get the yours. attuned ones? Those are the ones Those that are, are found in hives. Yeah, they're found in hives that look like redstone. Like I, it was so actually those, right. Those are the ones that are underground that I haven't found any of yet. Yeah, yes, they were right next to the redstone, and uh, yeah, like I thought it was redstone, and I'm mining. I'm like, why is this taking so long? <laughs> and then uh, yeah, I found out that it wasn't redstone. So what I did, guys, was something a little creative-ish, um, and it's something I want to try and automate a little bit. But I'm not sure exactly how to automate it, but I'm probably going to make it a lever. Um, I realized I was just draining a lot of power when I wasn't online because I was powering this Mondo thing, which requires a lot of juice at this point. Because of all the additions I made last episode, this thing's actually draining like 
noticeably large amounts of EU at this point, like 20 EU per tick. So in order to keep this thing running, uh, I needed lots of bio juice and I needed a lot of uh, the wood and the coal and everything. And it occurred to me like, hey, that's uh, a bit of a waste. Like I'm just wasting energy while I'm offline. Uh, so I wanted to be able to switch off my applied energistic system when I'm offline, but of course still have it online uh, when, I'm, when I'm here playing. So I might hook up some of that, uh, you know, redstone uh, cabling stuff. Uh, the only problem is running that wire is probably going to be a nuisance. Let's see, where is that stuff? So I'm going to have to figure out a good way to, uh, you know, do something so that when I'm actually playing and online, I can mess with it. So i got to find that cable. I don't even know where it is. You know what? It's a block, isn't it? Let's see. How about yeah, there some it is. dark, dark cable between splitter? your controller and the rest? What's that? Oh, you're How saying use dark, the dark? An ME dark cable. Yeah, the dark cable is a good one. I was just thinking use the, like the the industrial craft cable. Like you can split that easily enough. Mm -hmm. It's just if you move your controller one block, stick a dark cable between that and the rest of your system, then flick a redstone detaches the entirety of the rest of your system from your controller. Yeah, I'm just doing the same thing with uh with the EU cable. Then then it won't even drain power for the controller. The controller drains power. I don't know. I assume it does. I think it's a little bit. Like at this point, it's got oh. like zero going into it, so it's gonna shut down real quick. So I did finish building, uh, like I said I would over here, guys. Uh, I've got um, these nifty machines right here, the pulverizers, ready to go. They're connected with precision import buses. I'm telling it what to pull in. So any ores that go in the system are gonna land directly into the pulverizer. Same for here. It's just gonna take every ore it possibly can and throw it in there. Now for the furnaces, it's gonna grab as much dust as it possibly can. So any and all dust it finds, it'll throw into the furnaces automatically. Um, and then down here, I've just got basic exports. So just like before I showed you guys, you can't, uh, you know, tell it what to export because we're using the basic one, but that's fine. We don't need it to do anything fancy. Just pull out everything that lands in the inventory and is ready to be dumped out. So, and then here is just, uh, you know, in case I want to program any more of these buses, I need the, the um, stuff. So let's hook up the power again. Hooray, everything's back up and running. All right, so we've got that going. Um, so I didn't really, you know, waste too much resource wise. I do have a good amount of saplings and I ran out of, uh, you know, resources. So all my dirt and fertilizer is gone. But that's not a huge surprise to me. We have a lot of oak saplings. That's good news because we're going to probably need a lot of that stuff once we really start drawing power here. Soren, how you doing? Still wearing your, uh, you know, flower hat, I see. Have a minium stone. Sure, buddy. For you, you got it. What you doing? Making tesseracts. Why? Probably go so we can mooch off your power. Oh, you want to power your house <laughs> with my house? Gee, thanks, buddy. I power most of my house off of Jaded's house, so it makes sense. Yeah, yeah but, but Jaded has in. like a silly large power gen system, right? Which is why I don't feel bad about it. I, anybody else, I'd probably feel bad about it, but Jaded has so much power, it's, it's ridiculous. She was like, please take it. You're welcome to use my, my stuff here, Soren, as well. Uh, so what do I want to do this episode? Well, I did manage to finally build that second, um, you know, storage unit right here. So we do have now uh, two. We're using 19 of the 63 types here and zero out of 63 here. So we're, we, we are not using much by way of our storage. So I think what I'd like to do is start pulling items into, um, you know, the system via these chests. I also use some hardened glass, so I'm going to replace it. You can, yeah. Oh, I wonder where that hardened glass went. That's Soren. <laughs> All right, so let's get a, a system here that I want to import items in. So I need an import bus. And I'll probably go with a precision one just to make things quicker and easier. So let me craft up what I need, and then I can start storing items in the inventory of the um, disk drive. And then we'll kind of wrap up, for the most part, our applied energistics build, you know, as much as it could be wrapped up. I mean, I'm going to constantly be adding to it and doing all kinds of new and fancy things. I'm going to try and automate as much as I can this season with applied energistics. I feel like I could probably automate almost everything if I really tried to. All right, uh, I'll be right back. Oh, all right, I importing. have 12 attuned princesses. Well, la -dee da Whoa. <laughs> what now? I, I have 12 attuned princesses. I see I've got uh, Unusual, Mystical, Oblivion, Sorceress, Do you have my wrench Infernal. Sword? Is that all the types? 
Soren oh, steals my tools and then logs off for days at a time. Was that all of the bees missed? Uh, Attuned, infernal, unusual, mystical, oblivion, and sorceress. Was that right, let's, let, let's see if this works. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, look at the chest. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Not bad, right? Very excited. That's how I'm going to, you know, import all our existing inventory into the network. More liquidux. Need more liquidux. So is this the one that has the recipe to make the oblivion frame? List? Yep. Is it a, a Thomcraft research item? No, that, well, it's still present. How do, how do I get the recipe? Do I need to research it? Oh, the oblivion frame recipe, no. Okay, so uh, what's the oblivion frame recipe? There isn't one yet. That's what I just asked. I I thought you meant metabolic. No, what do I think? I don't I, care about I'm metabolic. I'm puzzled. I want my oblivion frames, damn it! You mean Dagnabbit? Yes, Dagnabbit. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's not a terribly bad one. You trap. I wanted that. Speaking of which, Morb, did you highlight that thingy? You can have some of these oh, chests no. if you need them, by the way, Soren. I, I forgot. I forgot. I was tired last night. Alright, I have a strong suspicion that I'm going to need more storage units. Yes, I am. They're glowing orange, which means I've filled up all the types available in the disk drive. So I need some more storage units. So I'm going to see how far along I can get in the progress of crafting a 16k. And what I should probably do... Active with signal uh, so it stops pulling things he in. waited his serums. What do you mean he waited his serums? Some of them are, are, are rarer to get than other ones. Are Basically, all of them still available? That's what he said. So, like, uh, I guess, like, the, the tolerance ones are rarer than, like, uh, effects or pollination or the species. That makes sense. Annoying, but it makes sense. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to let this craft. Hopefully I have enough resources for it, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we've got our uh, process running again here. You can see uh, what I did is I made um, a recipe in the uh, list here, and I'm starting to use the 4K storage blocks uh, simply because, like, obviously, right, I'm actually going to put them down here. Uh, the 4K storage blocks can store just as many types, but uh, I'm, I'm basically only going to, you know, use the 4k storage blocks for like the individual items like that I've got one or two of uh, whereas the 16k can be used for like all the crazy things I have a ton of so I think this is the last chest that's mine and then the chest back in the corner there is a Soren chest here's looking at you Soren pretty sure that's yours <laughs> or Soren just calling it like it is it's a Soren chest all right, so we've got that thing done. Now everything's good. We've got all our junk stored in our system. Awesome. I love applied energistics. It really makes things. I didn't place that there. No, you placed it somewhere else, and it was in my way, so I moved it. Yeah, that's how, that's how it works here, buddy. All right, so I've got my applied energistics stuff going. I've got power going, and I've got the auto smelting thing going. I actually just did a little bit of mining, and if you take a look, you'll see all my stuff is on. Well, it was. All right, see, there's all the copper. Uh, there's all the dust and the gold and all the iron, right? So I'm pulverizing a bunch of stuff, and it's all just going to sit in my system and eventually work its way around. So all the ores are going to eventually work its way down to dust, and then all the dust. Uh, so if I go over here and take a look, we've got, uh, you know, just, a, I guess, none in there. Let's see. Probably done processing most of the ore as well. Yeah. So 
Yeah, I know. I stopped pressing my push to talk key so I could type someone. So yeah, long story short, we are doing pretty well. So I've got my pattern encoder here. You can see I made the 4K storage. Now, oh, what's this? A pro present for me? Ooh, prototype Omni Ranch. Fancy. Right up there it goes. All right, so I think there's one last ingredient that I'm going to want to use, and that's going to be an ender chest. So hopefully I've got the resources for it, but I want to take an ender chest and hook it up here, and then I'm going to see how could I turn on and off my thing. Well, how about for now, I'm, I'm not going to wire it up top, because I really don't have any good redstone mechanics just yet, but we're looking at getting Mine Factory reloaded on Forgecraft, I believe. So let's do this. I want to get the EU splitter cable, which is two redstone and a lever. Okay. How am I for refined iron? I've got three of you. Do you have my minium stone still, buddy? Thank you. There we go. So let's try this out. Here's my plan, right? I should be able to do this, 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 and this, and that's not working. Ah. There we go, EU splitter cable. All right, so watch what happens, right? Right now, everything's running and cooking and burning through energy like you wouldn't believe. I'm using up 40 uh, energy units, which I believe equates to about, uh, we're looking at, you know, 20 EU per tick on average here, 20 and a half. And if I had my EU detector, which is probably upstairs, uh, I'd be able to measure that. But what I'm going to do is break this block right here and place this in its place, okay? Uh, so let's see here. Emmy controller online. Now if I do that, it splits it, okay? So now this thing should no longer be accessible. Um, this thing will eventually switch off. It has a little bit of residual internal buffer that it's gonna drain through pretty quickly, I believe. So I think in its currently mode, oh yeah, look at that, look, it's draining. So we're no longer sending energy down into the ME network and eventually it'll stop doing things. So watch, the dust is no longer being pulled out of the pulverizer and the bars are no longer being pulled out of the furnace. So we basically now have an on off switch and I'd like to at some point get this lever uh, upstairs or something, but see how that works, Lauren? See how everything's powered down? And we're no longer using up EU. Cool, right? But if we switch it back on, all the power should be back up and running, and you can see everything running again. And all the dust got pulled out, as did the bars. Nice, right? So the, the machines still function. We're just not, you know, wasting energy. Because basically this thing's using 20 EU per tick to just sit here and exist. Like, not even counting what's involved in pulling items in and out of the system. So I'd like to, uh, you know, just to conserve power early game when I'm not, you know, producing as much as I'd like to be able to. Like, right now I'm producing uh, a decent amount of ethanol and stuff, but I still want to be a little power conservative. So I'll just flip this off when I don't need it. Um, ideally, I'd like to eventually have an exorg rate uh, set up so that, you know, anywhere in my house I'll have a couple levers laying around. And then if I ever need to access the, the applied energistic system, I just flip the lever in that room and it'll toggle its state and then we should be in good shape. But we'll see if we ever have to get to that point. For now, of course, uh, since I am here, I do want to leave this thing on. So you can see energy dying out, and off it goes. All right, there we go. Soren, are you going to tell me about the, the, new, um, the new fruit, or sometimes considered a vegetable, but it's technically a fruit that you're uh, implementing in the game? Oh, tomatoes, you don't say. Tell me all about your tomatoes and your plans for tomatoes. Arrows can harvest them. <laughs> Pizza is planned. Nice. Arrows can harvest them? That sounds pretty cool. They also show up in the nether, by the way. Tomatoes do? Uh-huh. Whoa, Emmy Partition Editor. Look at this. Partition. I got four tomatoes in the, in the nether. The oh, cool. Look, he set it up so that, uh, that that thing I wanted is in there now. Partition storage. Configures partition based on currently stored items. So you can now partition things to, to match what they already have. So they only, you know, keep getting that. That is awesome, dude. 
All right, so we've got the on-off switch for the applied energistic system. We've got it automatically taken care of pretty much everything that we want it to do. Uh, for now, I think we're in pretty solid shape with our applied energistics. What do you think, Soren? You happy with it? Flax, tomatoes, and corn. Indeed. Soren's happy. There we go. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, I want to make something that's uh, a little cool, something new from Applied Energistics. I'm grabbing some User iron entered your channel. and some glass. Soren, have you seen the condenser yet? I'm pretty sure it doesn't need power, and it's basically a chest that will either completely erase or completely delete from the world anything you place in it. So it's like a void pipe, basically. So if I were to take a piece of cobblestone no. and put it in there, I'm going to put it in this slot. It's gone. Ta-da! Poof. Gone. See you later. Adios. Goodbye. Nice, right? So I'm going to use this thing to deal with all the excess dirt and cobble that we get in our inventory. So basically, um, let me get my import bus here. Because that's going to be used in just a moment. And let's see, some wood. Yeah, I've got some good. All right, so let's pretend this is an ender chest, which it's not at the moment, but that's okay. You have a drive for stone bricks. Cool. Use I have what's going to be an import chest. And let's just place it down uh, here. I'm going to put the condenser down here. It doesn't really matter where it goes, but like you do want to have it kind of you know, near something that's going to be connected up to stuff. So here looks like it's going to place it's any. So we could put like the condenser, I guess. It shouldn't matter if it's next to the controller, so that's fine, right? Um, and we'll want like a you know, thing here. And then I'm going to have the uh, precision import bus on this thingy. That's going to pull everything into uh, the system, like so. Cool. Set up, and it's going to import stacks at a time. So anything that goes into this chest, presumably, will get sucked into the system. But nothing's connected up to the uh, condenser yet, and that's probably pretty important, because we don't want things to start getting deleted from the world. I'm going to make, uh, let's see, I want the storage bus, is what I decided to use, by the way, guys. Oh, you know what I want to make, too? is a crafting one of these dudes. Crafting monitor, crafting access terminal, crafting terminal. That's what I want. So an access terminal needs a conversion matrix. Okay. Let me get a couple things here and show you guys something new that's really awesome. And I need some uh, ME space cabling. I need more of that. And I'm probably going to need... You get all the stuff it. together to make crafting matrix except the access terminal? then if you take your access terminal off the wall, you could use that to make the crafting terminal and just replace it. Because I like having both. crafting one, you don't need the normal one. Ah. Is it because of the larger view space? Yeah. Yeah, the I items? like the larger view space. All right, we're cooking up some, some processors at the that moment. Uh, let's see. I always end up clicking the wrong one and wondering why the question mark out of NEI doesn't work. <laughs> nice. I'll be back in a second, guys, once this cooks up. All right, there we go. Crafting terminal's good. Now, I want to show you guys something that I uh, was pretty pleased to see added here. All right? You should be able to, I believe... I want to see if this really works. So here it goes, the first test of it. So I want to make uh, the ME storage bus, right? So I want to make a conversion matrix, and that requires that. So that works, but can I shift click? That's the question. Yeah, I can. Look at that. Boom. So it put the items in there that I need, and then of course it, uh, you know, made them in here. It, it pulled them out of here as needed. So do we have basics? All right. That's pretty awesome. So you can see here we ran out of basics because uh, the last one was used there. So it's not going to craft them for you, but it will go ahead and put them in out of the inventory. Shift clicking on the crafting terminal is awesome. Wow, that works really well. All right, so here's what I'm thinking, guys. Uh, let's do this. 
I'm going to set up the storage bus here. And uh, we're going to go down here. So what I'm using is a storage bus, by the way, guys. Um, like mist. And I'm saying cobblestone is the only thing that gets stored in this chest. Okay. And we're going to set the priority down. So the lower the number, right, the lower the number, uh, the higher the priority. So we're going to set it to like negative one, which means it's going to be the first place that it goes ahead and puts um, anything that's in the interface, which is cobblestone. Okay, so the first place cobblestone lands should be in here. So uh, let's see, what do we got uh, by way of stuff? Right now I've got 332 cobblestone. Okay, I'm going to take out a half a stack, so now I've got 300. Okay, so let's see what happens next. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to throw, you know, a full stack into the chest. Okay, now it should get imported, I would think. Why you know it? Oh, there it goes, it went. Okay, so the import thing did its thing. This is empty. So the real question now would be, do we have... 300 or 364 cobble? 364. Uh, the reason being, I guess, because it's trying to put it into um, the the disk drive because the disk drive already has cobble in it. So let's do this. Let's pull all the cobble out of the network. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Cobble. There we go. So that's all the cobble. Now, do we have any cobble in here? None. So now let's see what happens. All right, I'm going to throw a stack of cobblestone in there, and it should go here first because the priority is low, negative one, right? Any cobble? Beautiful. No cobble. That's right, it went into the condenser. It's no longer in the chest. So if I just throw a bunch of cobble in here, like it should all just go away and get destroyed, which is pretty much what I want to have happen. So now I have an automatic way to destroy things. <laughs> Ta-da! All gone. So all I gotta do is interface uh, right here with this uh, block right there, and anything I place in here will be destroyed before it goes into the network, assuming it's not already somewhere in here. Like, if there's already cobble inside of a storage unit, it's gonna continue to fill that storage unit up, but then once it's full, it'll try and find somewhere else to put it, and it'll go here. Um, so, I think the last step of this should be as follows. I'm going to do this. Let's see. I'm gonna make, or grab, I should have one over here. Good. A barrel. Well, I hope five Emmy cables enough. Let's do this. That'll do. Wow, shift clicking in that table is the best thing ever. I don't really like that. Let's just do it. I know I could put facades on them, but I don't like using facades if I don't really need to, and I don't really need to. And we're going to put cobble in here. And this thing's going to be priority zero. All right, so the key here is priority zero, meaning this is um, what's going to be, you know, it's going to be a higher priority in the entire network than um, the disk drives for cobblestone. It's also going to be, uh, let's see, actually I want that to be even higher than... Uh, negative one. So I want that to be negative two, I guess. I thought that yesterday we figured out that two is higher than one, etc., not, and that negative is lower. Is it? That's how it seems to work in what I've been using it as, was, you know, because mm -hmm. one, two, Oh, wait, three, yeah, no, four, wait, the larger five. the number is better, right? Yeah. So we want this yep. to be priority two. And the Emmy storage thing down we here. We really need algorithm to weigh in on this. 
let's see, what, what's, what's my disk drive? My disk drive is priority one. So we want this thing to be priority two. Right, because the higher the number, the larger the, the priority, the right? The priority, I think. Yeah, so this should be really priority three. Okay, so that should be a higher priority. So now, let me do something real quick to make this even easier on myself. Put half a stack of cobble in. Should vanish. Go ahead and pull it in. And hopefully it went into the barrel. Yes, it went into the barrel. Woot. What do you think about that? Woot. Right? Now if I set this barrel to priority one and pulled it out of there. This should now go to the higher priority in the network, which is two. User entered your so it channel. should land right in there, right? Correct, and it's not there now. Good, so we're gonna make this priority three again, uh, which means all of our cobble will first try to fill up this barrel. And if it does fill up the barrel, uh, so there we go, we just got five, six, where are all these stacks of cobble coming from? Is that you, Soren? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect you, indeed. <laughs> yes, so there you go. That's what we're going to find up happening. But then any more cobble that hits the system is going to go to the next number in the priority chain, which is priority number two, which is our void chest. But only cobble is going to be allowed in here because our storage bus is saying only cobble can go into the condenser, nothing else. So even though like we might put in like sticks or something like that, um, you know, they should wind up in our ME network instead of in the void chest. Okay, so sticks should not be allowed in there. And if we go upstairs and take a look, we should have sticks. Cool. So I'll take out the four, put them back in here just for demonstration. There we are, four sticks. Perfect. I love it when things work. So now we have a really automated way to maintain different items in different locations. Like I could put, you know, wow, Soren, you filled that up quick. Or are you just emptying it from there? Okay, good job. That works. So I'll do the same thing for dirt, right? I'll do another, um, you know, one of these guys and do the same thing for dirt. So I'll go grab one of those things for us, Soren. So we want um, another one of these, which requires another one of these. Oh yeah, we need a lot of stuff. All right, that's all that I can make. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm also gonna wanna make a couple of these and I'll be right back. All right guys, so here we go. Um, gonna just add this here. Soren, are you finished with that Xbox request? And dirt is what goes in this thing. Okay, so that's priority three, and that's priority three. Okay, so these things have higher priorities. Why is this barrel empty all of a sudden? The cobble barrel. Oh, you're ro oh, you can rotate barrels now with that thing. Nice. How'd apples get in there? Yep. Did you put apples in there? All right. So guys, I'm sorry to say this is a wrapping up point for the episode, though. Uh, we've done some really nice automation. So at this point, I've completed pretty much all the things that I like to have ready and working before I do any kind of automated mining in a world. I've got, um, you know, the, the uh, these are smarter. How are they smarter? Click the barrel. Oh, yeah. How it leaves one in at the end. I know. I love that. Isn't that cool? I noticed that just a minute ago and I didn't say anything. Yeah, it's a config option. I love it. It's a wonderful config option. So I'm going to throw dirt in there, and dirt should land in the barrel upstairs, Soren. Um, are you rotating it on me? There it is, 20 dirt. So yeah, um, I've got everything I need. I've got the following. I've got automatic pulverizing and smelting of materials. I've got an import chest. I've got um, storage for all my items. And finally, I've got um, 
excess storage for things like cobble and dirt, and they will be voided automatically by way of the new item called the condenser. I could have used a void pipe here or something along the same lines, but it's basically a block that acts as a void pipe. All right, so you just pump items into it, and they're deleted from world. Perfect. So I think we've got everything we need to start working on an automated way to mine. And that's what we're going to start working on in the next couple episodes. Probably a couple of little things I'd want to do before that, but for now at least this will work. So for now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode as always, and take it easy!